the Kenya dairy industry has joined the world uh, through the initiatives of uh, Path Net Zero to lower and accelerate the lowering of uh, emission in the dairy uh, sector. Uh, when you look at the statistics, the dairy sector, 20% of uh, the emissions come from the subsector of dairy. And out of the 20%, uh, 67% of it is from methane. Uh, Thirty-one percent is from uh, poor uh, manure management, and two percent from processing, either processing of milk or even processing of feed. We are also uh, aligning our, our sector with the global targets. What is causing these uh, uh, emissions is, of course, the low productivity uh, per cow. We have a huge herd, but the, the production is very, very low, increasing gas emissions in the sector. When you look at uh, uh, the production part of it, is the one we want to increase. The global target is 30%. When you look at our target here, is we want to, to grow from the 7 litres per cow to 15 litres per cow as an average for the country. At uh, primary production, that is at farm level, we want to look at uh, issues of uh, manure management and we want to look at uptake of biogas by the farmers. When you look at the statistics, we have 1.8 million farmers, but the installed biogas plants is only 8,000 at the moment. So we want to upscale that. That we will be able to lower emissions. We also want to promote uh, quality and the quantity of feed management so that we can be able to increase the productivity and the efficiency at the farm level. When you look at uh, the transportation part of it, we have different types of uh, uh, transport. We have, of course, the motorbikes, we have the trucks. We want to see how can we become more efficient in lowering emissions there. When you look at the processing part and when you look at the consumer. Consumer is the packaging. What is this that we're doing in packaging, recycling, and what type of uh, uh, packages do we have as a sector? Out of tons of waste that Kenya produces in a day, 95% can be recycled. In the dairy sector, processing is one of the key contributors to this waste through packaging materials and processes which then contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. In efforts to addressing this, Biofoods, a private dairy processing company, is at the forefront towards growing an environmentally sustainable business. It has incorporated the use of renewable energy such as solar power, which they use for hot water boilers, for insulation, and even for their milk pasteurization. They have gone a step further by embracing the use of recycled plastic packaging materials and also strategically placing plastic collection bins in shopping malls where the consumers can dispose of their plastic containers after use, in return recycling up to 98% of their factory wastes. What is the future of sustainability, not just at biofoods, but also at Highlands? I think the holy grail is circularity. We need to move to a place where there's as little as possible virgin plastic being brought in the system and everything is recycled packaging to packaging. Reduce our wastes, recycle, reuse. All waste can be turned into a resource and somebody will benefit from that waste. So let us respect waste and let us always be responsible for the waste that we create. Do your bit. As we said, everyone knows that it's bad to litter. If not me, then who? is going to do the right thing. And sometimes some people say, somebody will do it. There is no anybody. There is nobody. It is just you. So if not you, then who? And if not you, then, you know, going back to your question, what is the cost? The cost of not being sustainable, the cost of not being circular, is literally, well, not in our lifetime, but in the lifetime of our future generations, the extinction of this planet. I'm happy that uh, the industry has been uh, very adaptive in issues of uh, lowering emissions. And uh, when you look at their sustainability reports, which they have, uh, mostly the processors in the country have been able to develop and even launch their sustainability uh, reports. And uh, the issues that they're looking at, of course, is issues of recycling, the issues of uh, solar, and of course, uh, various uh, initiatives even supporting uh, tree planting. Uh, in the sector and this way we'll be able to accelerate uh, the issues of lowering uh, green gas uh, emissions uh, within the dairy sector. We want to focus on increasing the productivity and becoming more efficient uh, in the production of uh, feed, that is the quality and the quantity, to increase the production per cow. We want to increase uptake 
of uh, technologies, technologies like the solar, and all other technologies that are more efficient and are geared towards uh, lowering the emissions in the dairy sector. We also want to focus on the organized groups like the cooperatives and create awareness on activities that will uh, reduce uh, the emissions within the dairy sector, the uptake of uh, biogas and the targets that we've been given that we need to accelerate towards lowering the emissions in the dairy sector.